this is mostly for my mom and David Ray, so they don't get confused. <clears throat> I mixed half and half goat and chicken food in this bucket for the duck. So if the duck stays out overnight, give the duck uh, one scoop of the, you know, what is this, about 16 ounces? 16 ounces <clears throat> in the morning before you let the chickens out. <laughs> Uh, this goes in the auto feeder for the chickens, so um, if for some reason they don't want to go in at night, give them only 16 ounces <clears throat> to get them to go in. Because like I said, they got two scoops a day in the auto feeder and then they forage for the rest. <clears throat> and then this is the goat food in this corner. And uh, in the summer, we only give them one scoop. In the winter, we give them two scoops. And when I say scoops, I mean either something like this, 32 ounces, or something like this. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if we're just trying to get them to do what we want them to do, you know, men just tease them with 16 ounces. But normally, I only give them about two scoops a day in the winter <clears throat> and one scoop a day in the summer. <clears throat> depending on how many chickens and goats we have. <clears throat> uh, basically, I'd say one scoop per dozen. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, the goats and chickens mostly forage for what they need, but uh, in the winter, they need a little bit more. Same with the cats. <clears throat> so, uh, with the cats... You know, in the summer, I'll give them uh, one or two scoops, depending on how many cats we have a day. And then uh, in, the, in the winter, I'll give them two or three scoops, depending on how many cats we have. But the neighbors <clears throat> are feeding the cats also, so we don't have to worry about feeding them as much. <clears throat> so... Goat, I mean not goat, duck, goat, chicken. Goat's usually in that back corner. I'll try to keep it in that back corner. <laughs> this one will alternate. Just depends on what overflow I have. So and then in the winter, I'll be putting a little bit of uh, goat food in the cat food. Because obviously the cats will eat it. But also it'll attract mice. For the cats to eat as well so whatever the cats don't eat it will potentially attract food that they will eat so there you go <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna finish putting this together then go do the cats then go let the goats out all right bye all right I got all the lids on. We put these clippies on to keep the coons from opening the lids. <coughs> uh, we killed most of the coons, but uh, they'll be back. All right. Off to the cat house we go. I'll come back with that paper. I'll go ahead and let the chickens out. too. Well, they'll follow me to the cat house. Meow, 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 meow. Get it, 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 get it. Oh, I got cat food in the truck. I gotta drive over there. All right, I'll put this in the back and drive over there. So, anyways, all right, bye. It's a little dusty in here because of the diatomaceous earth. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Basically, this is like a 40-pound bag. Um, same with all the other feed. It's, you know, approximately 40, 50 pounds. So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll take 16 to 30 ounces of diatomaceous earth blend uh, in with the feed. So this is a, a herbal blend for a dewormer. Um, 
mostly. It's got some other herbs in there as well, but mostly it's a dewormer. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> cat house is a little messy. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'll put uh, 16 to 32 ounces of uh, dewormer uh, herbal blend, diatinous earth blend, which is in this little container. <clears throat> and uh, a 40 pound bag. <clears throat> so what I did was, and I got this extra 20 gallon. This is 20, that's 30. So I got that extra one. So what I did was I dumped <clears throat> the old stuff that was in the bottom in there. <clears throat> and then I put the new stuff in here on the bottom, <clears throat> put the diatinaceous earth over it, and then dump the old stuff on top. <clears throat> and this will last them at least a month. <clears throat> so, and then uh, the old stuff already had diatinaceous earth in it, so uh, I didn't have to add any extra. I just added new diatinaceous earth blend to the new cat food. <clears throat> this is their favorite diamond purple blend, purple brand. <clears throat> but I change it up. Um, basically, I go for meat as the first or second ingredient. <clears throat> if I'm desperate, then I'll go third. Um, and then I'll get the really cheap, cheap stuff for the chickens. But um, anyways, and then I put that grain in here too. You can't see it because it's I dumped half of this in there, then I put the grain in, and then I dumped the rest in on top of that. So <laughs> and I probably put more like two thirds in, then I put the grain in, and I put the cat food on t the rest of the cat food on top. So if you dig deep enough, you'll see the grain. There's some. <clears throat> so, anyways. So that'll attract mice and stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I got to Google it again. But basically what I do is I calculate how many cats we have. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> I'll Google how many ounces per day minimum you want to feed your animals. <clears throat> <clears throat> And uh, then I'll multiply that by how many animals we have. So, and that's how I figure out how many scoops to give them. <clears throat> so, and then they forage for the rest. Candy. That's candy. And fluffy. So, anyways, cat house is kind of filthy, but <clears throat> I'll work on cleaning it up more later. Um, we're also planning on building them a new cat house. This originally was a dog house when I bought it from the previous owner. <clears throat> David was going to... Uh, David wanted to... Um, get it and turn it into his house but he didn't have the money so I bought it and I knew he wouldn't live in it because he's a germaphobe <clears throat> probably worse than me and I wouldn't live in it so I knew he wouldn't so anyhow <clears throat> those bags make great liners uh, for the banana boxes but anyhow um so I saw it as a potential chicken coop. And that's why I went ahead and bought it. And then it ended up being a cat house. So <clears throat> and cats are fairly clean, but <clears throat> not when it comes to their house. <clears throat> and uh, what the heck? Something got into the cattle feed.
probably a dog. Looks like a dog. <clears throat> I'm gonna call this guy Pepper because he's like something Pepper. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, I just Google uh, how many animals we have, how many ounces of feed per pound of the animal. <clears throat> You know, and then uh, and then uh, measure it out accordingly. <clears throat> so there you go. I have a whole bunch of those bags. I thought I was gonna put it in the feed today, but <clears throat> I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. But today was kind of a weird day, anyways. I got up early and started to take off for work. And then I realized, oh, <clears throat> I don't really need to leave yet. What is that? It looked like styrofoam they were fighting over. But maybe it wasn't. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that was. Oh, well, anyways, <clears throat> so recap. Basically, if the duck is out on the pond, which in the summer she will be, in the winter it depends on the temperature outside. She might not <clears throat> be. Um, oh, this is paper. I could throw this in the chicken coop. <clears throat> That'll break down. Anyway, so if the duck is out, she'll usually be on the pond overnight. <clears throat> if she's out and give her 16 ounces of grain, I got to blend for her. <clears throat> but, if, you know, that blend isn't available for whatever reason if I haven't prepped one. <clears throat> Then just give her either a chicken scratch or a 50-50 blend of chicken and goat food. She'll pretty much like that. What? I was just thinking something. Oh, here we go. I'll put this plastic bottle of feed that some dog or something chewed up in here. And that'll attract bugs and whatnot <sighs> if the chickens don't eat it and then uh <clears throat> the chickens will eat the bugs are you still trying to eat that styrofoam or whatever it is it is styrofoam give me that she's like hell no that's mine chickens are weird Anyways, so, <clears throat> throw that in there. I'll collect it later. So, 16 ounces of uh, feed for the chicken. I mean, duck, if she's on the pond. <clears throat> and that's before we let the chickens out. That's biodegradable. I'll throw it in there. That's my raspberry patch. And, uh, <clears throat> and then a couple scoops of cat food in the morning for the cats. <clears throat> Chickens don't eat in the morning. Uh, they'll scratch in the morning. <clears throat> Unless we're uh, not letting them out. Uh, the only time uh, we feed the chickens extra is if we're going to leave them in all day long. <clears throat> So we'll come in the night before, spread some feed in the uh, coop so they can scratch for it. <clears throat> Otherwise, they only get food in the, in, the, in the evening, and I got the automatic feeder. So uh, it just automatically feeds them in the evening. <clears throat> but if for some reason we need to get them in early, and they don't want to go in, grab a 16-ounce cup, 
throw some feed in there. They'll all go in. <clears throat> and then, boom, you're good. <clears throat> uh, goats basically get uh, two scoops in the evening, one in the summer. So that's the goat food, chicken food, and duck food. And that's that Tenacious Earth uh, dewormer blend. <clears throat> when I get a little bit more storage space and organized and stuff, I'm going to start uh, my next blend even. I'm going to add cayenne pepper to the blend as well. <clears throat> and that'll help keep them warm in the winter. <sighs> and uh, it does other, it has other benefits as well. So we can get the peppercorn uh, seeds or just get the powder or a blend of both. It wouldn't, doesn't matter. So <clears throat> I guess that's pretty much it. <sighs> uh, later I'm going to have uh, pigs and stuff like that. And they'll follow the same routine. They'll basically eat what the goats eat. Um... Uh, So the only thing we won't have is sheep because they're copper sensitive and uh, too much copper will kill them. So, <clears throat> but I plan on getting coon coon pigs in the future. <laughs> <clears throat> they're a filled pasture pig and they'll pretty much eat what the goats don't eat. So they'll help keep other weeds down that the goats don't. Don't. So between them and the chickens, although in the future, I'm probably going to get a bigger fowl like turkey so they can protect themselves better against predators <clears throat> um, and whatnot. But, uh, and we won't necessarily have to put them up every night, you know, just have to get them programmed to come home every night. <clears throat> <clears throat> but, uh they can somewhat protect themselves. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll probably do ostriches. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So. And then, as you know, I put cat, liquid cattle feed in the lick tubs. And that gives them fortified water through the winter. All right. That's it. I'm going to let the goats out. And I'm going to get to work. Okay, bye. I guess I'll videotape the goats real quick. Come on. Come back in here. There we go. They get overzealous. I think that's the right word. Then I can't... Ugh. Come on, Trey. Get out of the way. There you go. <clears throat> you gotta go around like I don't want to go around I want to squeeze through she does really good for a three legged goat <laughs> she wants a dance in Scratch my neck. And there they go. I lost count. We got like 15 goats. Now. <clears throat> and I'm going to get uh, some Kiko females this winter. So we can start breeding Kikos into the mix. I'm going to breed out the Nigerian dwarf and breed in Kiko. And then. <clears throat> later. 
Well, I'll breed out the other crap that's in them and breed in Kiko. <clears throat> and then later, uh, I'll get some Spanish goat males and breed them in. <clears throat> and then after that, I was told <clears throat> to get one boar goat. So, like, say, have Sp um, maybe like uh, have two Spanish goat males and one boar goat male, and then uh, females be all Kiko. <clears throat> and then that way, <clears throat> um, I keep the proper stock that <clears throat> is uh, parasite resistant and also has good milk and good meat uh, and is uh, good sellers for this area and he also won't get too big he'll get a little bigger than a Nigerian dwarfs but not too much bigger the the boars will be bigger but uh, not much bigger and same with the Kikos <clears throat> And the Spanish goats. The Spanish goat males are smaller, <laughs> where the Kiko males are bigger. So <clears throat> that's why I'm going with the uh, Spanish goat males. <clears throat> and then breeding the Nigerian dwarf into the Kiko females, <clears throat> they too won't get too big. So the offspring will basically be. Kiko Nigerian. Oh, there's a neighbor cat. Hey, neighbor cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. See, I'm a cat friendly person. Yeah. He's like, I, I don't think so. <clears throat> kitty, kitty. <laughs> Kitty, kitty. It's okay, kitty. See, Leo likes me. Kitty, kitty. <coughs> Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Leo don't like me. Leo loves me. He's a crazy cat. He's trying to climb me. You're a crazy cat. Alright, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my pomegranate now. He's like, no, pay attention to me. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Alright. The reason I say I give them the bare minimum is because they forage for the rest but then you got scraps too we give we don't really give the goats scraps but the pig maybe you know if we had pigs when we had pigs but like the chickens and the cats yeah they get scraps a lot <clears throat> so like one thing i just got done doing i'll have to videotape it one of these days it takes it'll take a full video just doing that but um <clears throat> pomegranates i love pomegranates but they're kind of a pain to eat and they're messy and you're bound to drop at least a dozen kernels 
<laughs> so I try to eat my pomegranates with the chickens. And then I'll throw the uh, peelings in the uh, chicken coop. And then whatever I accidentally fumble and drop, the chickens are all up in it. They're like, oh, yeah. So <clears throat> they enjoy it, and I enjoy it. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, <clears throat> so, yeah, in the winter, we give them more food because there's less foliage, uh, less forage, <clears throat> probably even less mice to eat, <clears throat> less rabbits for the cats to eat because they hunt rabbits, too. <clears throat> so, you know, we up their food intake uh, in the winter to get them through the winter. And uh, then in the spring, when everything starts becoming green again, then we start backing off on the feed. <clears throat> but, and again, like I said, we fortify their water with the cattle feed as well, the liquid cattle feed. And they like it. Ow. Leo's climbing my leg again. Okay, bye. <laughs>